What is up there? Welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video, we are looking into the Shikigami known as Rough Chan. In chapter 70 of the manga and volume 8 of the light novel, we were introduced to Shikigami. Shikigamis are familiars created using a different item or object between two people. Because of how the Shikigami are conceived using the two people's DNA, they are often referred to as their child. The first Shikigami we were introduced to was Chris. Chris is a penguin familiar created using different monster parts whose masters are Kizuna, the hunting hero, and Glass, the fan hero. However, it is the second Shikigami that we will be focusing on today as its masters are now Fumi and Raftalia. As always, make sure you smash that like button to let me know you want more shield hero. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new shield hero videos go live on the channel. And why not check out my shield hero playlists for character facts and more shield hero lore. And of course, goes without saying, but there will be shield hero spoilers here as we are looking into both the manga and the light novel so you have been warned. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Yo, what is up there? Gonna quickly jump in here to ask you to check out my limited edition merchandise on sale now. These designs are new and on sale for a limited time only. We have 414 hats and shorts, so you're ready for the warmer months ahead. As well as this, we have two brand new designs, including the Manga Coffee Chill shirt. This is obviously a standard routine of mine, and I'm sure many others, right? Then we have the classic Notice Me Senpai. These are available in both hoodies and mugs. I particularly love the mug, man. These new items are on sale for the month of April only, so make sure you do not miss these before they're gone. Of course, be sure to follow me on Twitter for any merchandise updates. All links are in the description below, and I hope you enjoy the video. So in chapter 62 of the Shield Hero manga, now Fumi and his party travel to Glass's world in pursuit of a villain. However, they are split up. Now Fumi and Rishia are together, but Raftalia and Philo are completely separated. They lose all their levels and cannot track one another. Now Fumi and Rishia meet a girl called Kizuna, who happens to be one of the legendary heroes of this world. Now, long story short, but Kizuna also went missing and is trying to find Glass and the others. On their travels, Kizuna mentions that she knows of a person who is really good at finding people and takes Naofumi to them. The person they meet is Ethnobolt, a vassal weapon wielder also known as the Boat Hero. Fun fact about this guy is that he also has a rabbit form that looks really cool. I don't know why, but I, I don't know, it just really amused me and I liked it. <laughs> anyway, he decides to help Naofumi and Rishia look for the others and Kizuna mentions that she is also looking for Glass, which triggers Ethnobolt's memory that he was keeping her and Glass's familiar safe whilst Glass was searching for Kizuna. Ethnobolt's part to play here is that he is the one who creates these familiars. And the reason that we've moved on to the familiars in this part of the story is because it's mentioned that these Shikigami are an invisible connection between the two masters and will act as a medium in searching out the other. So this is the reason Raf Chan was created in the first place, it was all basically a way to help Naofumi reunite with Raftalia. Talking of Raf Chan, Raf Chan was created using Naofumi's blood and Raftalia's hair that Naofumi had put into his shield when he used to cut her hair. Naofumi had mentioned that at the time he was going through a phase of just putting everything he came upon into his shield for new powers and abilities. I really like this aspect of the story and the introduction of the Shikigami, especially Raf Chan. I don't know, but it, it, it just really adds to like Naofumi and Raftalia's connection, you know? It also kind of makes me see how much he cares for Raftalia when he is with Rafchan. So let's talk a bit about Rafchan then. What What is it? <laughs> so Rafchan is basically a small baby raccoon with reddish brown fur, red eyes, cute darker brown paws, and a real fluffy tail. So yeah, appearance wise, this thing is just super cute, man. And if this thing doesn't scream merch sales when we get this in the anime, I honestly don't know what will. Now, in terms of Rafchan's personality, as expected, it is a combination of both its masters. It has Raftalia's friendly, caring, and loving nature, as well as it being super affectionate towards Naofumi. Of course, Raftchan also has Naofumi's darker side in regards to torturing a man for taking advantage and making a profit off a of Philo a little later on in the story. As well as sharing its master's personality, Rafchan also shares Raftalia's affinity for light, shadow, and illusion magic. 
Now, as you can imagine, now Fumi grows very fond and attached to Rafchan. He will spend a lot of his free time petting her, which is also said to be some sort of a stress relief. The question is, will we get to see Rafchan and Chris in season two of the anime? Well, I certainly hope so, and it depends how many episodes we are going to get in the season. If it follows suit of season one and is another 24 episodes, then I'm certain we will. There is so much going on at this point in the story, and you know, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing it all animated. I also think that Rough Chan is going to be super popular when it comes to the screen, and I mentioned it briefly earlier, but I really hope that it gets some merch. It, you know, if they make a plush of this thing, I will not hesitate at all in purchasing it. But there we go, that was a quick look at Rough Chan. I wanted to do a video on this thing for a while, and you know, I may make a video talking about some of the new characters coming in Season 2, so let me know if you'd like that, because we've got some really really interesting new characters. And I've mentioned a couple already in previous Shield Hero videos that you guys seem to be a bit unsure of, like, who's that? So let me know if you want me to make a video, and I'll, uh, I'll definitely do that. But the main question from today's video is, what do you guys think of Rafchan? I, I honestly can't get enough of this little fuzzball, and I really want one. Like, I remember when Puck came out in ReZero, and I was just like, I really want a Puck. Can I have a Puck? I had the exact same feeling when I saw Rafchan. I was just like, I want one. Where can I get myself a Rafchan? <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Shield Hero videos just like this one, then smash the like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There are plenty more Shield Hero videos in the works, and I don't want you to miss a single one of them. As always, a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, Brian, Blake, Andrew, Bastuna, Zintak, and Emlyn for supporting me on Patreon. Why not head on over there yourselves, check out the amazing rewards on offer, including a super special awesome exclusive series for Patreons only. But that is it from me. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.